So there have been a lot of videos talking about the latest web browser for Windows XP, and I thought I already did that. I thought I already did that, what, two months ago? But uh, apparently there's a couple new browsers that have come out. So we're going to talk about that today. These are the latest web browsers that you can use for Windows XP in 2024. Wow, it is 2024. So uh, let's get into that. Okay, so to get this for yourself on your Windows XP machine, you head over to this GitHub link. I'll leave it in the description. And you're going to want to scroll down and you should find the releases, the release candidates. Um, so let me like show that off. I think it's right here. So here it is, as you can see. An up-to-date Chromium-based web browser compatible with Windows XP Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista 7, 8, and newer. So, we're going to go ahead and get the 64-bit version of this, um, and save it on to our computer. So, in the last video that I did about making Windows XP secure, we talked about a web browser called MyPal, but apparently that's old news, because MyPal, and I can get, I can get behind this, MyPal is based off of what appears to be a very old version of Firefox. So, if you did install MyPal, that's alright, but Super Minim, whatever you want to call it, is based off of Chromium. So, you might want to install that over MyPal, but I don't know. I still use MyPal on my Windows XP systems, it doesn't really matter though. So, we're going to run the setup, click Run, it'll come up with this. So click Yes, and it'll begin extracting, very similar to the MyPal setup to say the least. We're already just, you know, extracting. Then it's going to ask you where to install it. And, uh, yeah, so that, okay, so, super modem setup has com successfully completed, click OK, uh, yeah, we might as well create a shortcut, please, alright, there we go, so, uh, take two on that, it ended up working, so the web browser logo is actually kind of cool, so it looks like an older version of the Chromium logo, which is all blue, by the way, and it's basically the open source version of Google, with a little green bit right there, so that's kind of cool, so we click on that. And boom, so yeah, there's a bit of a zoomed, oh my god, it's literally Google. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend signing, oh my god. So this is a slightly older version of Google, but it's still kind of a kind of a breakthrough here. So I want to do some speed tests. So first of all, going to YouTube.com. Go to YouTube, let's see how fast that loads up. Obviously, this is just a VM, so it's not going to be a very fast comparison over here. So, um... That seems, this seems to be about the same as my MyPal comparison in that video, but, um, we can always, we're going to compare MyPal again. It's really the only fair thing to do here. So, so there we go. Uh, try searching to get started. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's loading up. So let's see if we can go to the channel, youtube.com slash, if it'll, Load in. Obviously, this is a VM. I've given it very little resources because I really never thought I'd return to this VM. But I got multiple comments talking about Super Minimum and how it's a much better web browser than MyPal. So I said, "Why don't we do a follow up?" And I so let's see. Guys, remember that uh, that one browser, like Pale Moon, is that what it was called? Yeah, that was. Uh, that was old. So, you know what? It's about the same. Although, it did seem that my pal loaded it just a bit faster. Although, you know, what do you prefer? A really old version of Firefox that somehow is secure? Or an updated version of Chrome? You know, it, it's a gamble, but I feel like I would take the safest way out if I was... You know. Let's see... Let's see if we can head over to our channel. Might take a little bit, but, uh, you know, the browser is fresh on the system. So, uh, who knows. Hey, there we go. It's sort of loading in. But, uh, this is what you expect for an XP-based system, if we're being honest. The YouTube player was working. I don't think... Was that something that was working on the, uh... On the channel at the time, was that, like, I don't know, because when I, I think we went to MyPal, it wasn't loading in on the channel properly, like, I don't, I don't know, 
So, uh, our channel is here. Uh, sorta. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in the end, I don't know what you really are going to expect for a browser like that. Oh, there it goes. It, okay, well. So that was my little video on the Super Minim browser. I know I'm super late to this. I actually, where was it? It was, I think it was this video right here. Yeah, so this is pretty old, so I highlighted this for you guys. So he, uh, so Michael just made the video two weeks ago. I feel like he made it a lot longer ago, but uh, whatever. So yeah, this is, he, he, you can check out his video, which is, obviously much more in depth than mine his is 16 minutes where he kind of goes through everything including vista as well uh you can add chrome extensions okay i actually do want to try this because if you can add extensions then let's all switch over to windows xp and we can all use this as our browser i think this will be a fun little challenge hi uh, everyone install windows xp on your systems and uh let's do it Alright, so web store does load, and this is the Chromium web store, but it's literally the same exact thing. So, this is a good sign. We got Google Translate, we got Honey, we got Zoom, Drive. I don't know what these two are, though. So, yes, it is loading in a bit slowly. Um, if we had a physical XP system that we can try it on, then uh, let me know, and I will gladly do the XP Super Minim video on... Um, and a, and a system, that's what I did with the other XP video, where I used it on a real system, but in the most half-assed way possible. You know, because I threw that old system out. Or, correction, my dad threw it out, because apparently we don't need it anymore. Alright, so, uh, we, the, the favorite cons are sort of loading in. Yeah, uh, this browser is a fair bit more laggy than, uh, the MyPal, but that's also probably just because it's, you know, here just installed and it's fresh you know so i think that that's probably the reason why but uh anyways guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the subscribe button down below it really helps us out it's kind of what you know helps us make these videos possible and uh as always don't forget to subscribe to scott tech tips for more uh like i said if you guys do want to see a follow-up to this then i would gladly do it i have a buddy of mine does have a Windows XP notebook and desktop that I could, you know, provide for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Scott Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Bye for now.